Somebody who I think might be the biggest copyright troll in the history of YouTube just outed himself. Let's talk about how we get to this point, who this person is, and what this all means for YouTube. So this is iShow Speed. He is the biggest, most watched streamer on all of YouTube right now. He's got over 15 million subscribers. He is a grinder. He's been streaming almost every day since the summer of 2020. He makes a ton of content. He's been making some music videos lately that have gotten over 77 million views, 29 million views. He is extremely popular. He's blown up. There was one point in the summer of- Guys, he's probably wearing it ironically. This is from two months ago. I'm pretty sure at that point, everybody understands that FDX was busted. Okay? 2021, where in 14 days, he gained 1.4 million subscribers. He is an absolute phenomenon. He understands content like almost nobody else. But I Show Speed is also really controversial. He's been in a bunch of different controversies where he's like almost gotten canceled. He was brought on to British TV. They invited him over to watch a football match with them. And they actually rescinded their invite and cut all the clips with him out when somebody told them all of these like cancelable things that he's done. I discovered Speed uh, about a year ago and I ended up making a video called Uncancelable I Show Speed, which I basically wanted to show how he overcame all the different times where he was almost cancelled because I think his rise to fame has been really cool and interesting and something I thought would be cool to talk about. But he does wade into controversy a lot. It's also worth mentioning, he's very young. He's about 19, maybe 20 years old now. His age has always been kind of a mystery, but he recently did finally confirm that he's actually 19. He used to tell people he was much older than he actually was. But in the summer of 2022, a lot of YouTubers who were talking about iShow Speed started to get copyright claims. Here's the first one I could find from a YouTuber called Omni. Now, Omni does commentary. You can see his thumbnail down there. He makes great videos. His face is on the screen. He reacts to things. He's not just reposting clips. With that said, he tweeted, I'm getting copyright claimed for the iShow Speed clip in my latest video. Disputed it and got rejected in 10 minutes by Thumb Media Affiliate, who I don't think even exists. Am I getting screwed over or is this legit? Puts my channel at risk. Yeah, Omni talked about this under one of my uh, tweets as well. This is like literally a company known for doing false copy strikes. YouTube is aware that they know uh, that they are knowingly doing false copy strikes. And YouTube doesn't give a fuck for the record. YouTube literally did nothing to this company. They, they have been doing this. Thumb Media Affiliate is the one that also came after me as well with Aiden. It's the one that Aiden is currently celebrating in this fucking tweet. of getting a strike. And Omni is right. If you get claimed by a company who says that they own your content and they're going to take your money, you can dispute it, but that does put you at risk of getting a strike. So you have to be very careful as a YouTuber if you're going to fight back against this kind of thing. And as you'll see throughout this story, a lot of people just yes, roll cool. over and give up because it is terrifying. Throughout the summer, more and more YouTubers continue to get claimed with YouTuber Jalen, who does commentary saying, these fuckheads claim my video and rejected my appeal and it's not even a valid claim whatsoever. They even claim parts of my original video. They didn't even copyright it correctly. Another YouTuber, Papa Gut, says, something like this happened to me on my iShowSpeed video. Hopefully Team YouTube can do something more about these blatantly bogus claims. YouTuber Internet AJ says, I got striked and disputed it and they are fighting it. So these claims were very prevalent throughout the summer. And on August 11th, 2022, I woke up to this beautiful email in my inbox. I love getting love letters from YouTube. This email was not that. They said, hi, Jabroni, a copyright owner using content ID has claimed some material in your video. Your video is live and the visibility settings you selected remain applied to it but it is now either being monetized by the copyright owner or they have chosen to receive analytics about it. This is not a strike. It doesn't affect your account status, but here's the video. It was copyrighted by DRM protection for Cardigan Media by Aegis TM, claimed by Thumb Media Affiliate. So they didn't just choose to get the analytics. Here, here you have it, I, I, identical for the record. A copyright claim was created for content. Andrew Tate cannot handle my questions. Uh, he claimed it, uh, Thumb Media claimed it on behalf of Aiden. This is the video. I'm right here. The entire content of this video is me debating Andrew Tate. If anything, I should be able to fucking content claim Aiden Ross for trying to fucking pose this as his own content as all he did was sit there like a fucking dumbass. I'm literally in the middle of the fucking video. Are you out of your fucking mind, dude? And his dumbass fucking fan base turned around. This has 1.5 million views on my YouTube channel.
And they're just trying to fucking milk it. They're trying to take these views and trying to make money off of the video that absolutely is is uh, uh, is a video that I could claim is mine. It's crazy. I'm on the video. Like, that is the next level of, of uh, copyright bullshit, okay? It's not even like I'm reacting to the fucking video. I'm not literally... I'm not reacting to someone else's video, which is certainly... Aiden Ross tried to retort this by saying it's actually his video since his socials are in the corner. Saw a clip of it a couple days ago. Yeah, I should have never been kind enough to keep his fucking socials in the corner. That's what, that was my problem. That was my issue, I guess. I never signed a fucking release. Suck my cock. I'll see you in court. You stupid fuck. You fucking imbecile. You absolute fucking dumbass. Holy shit. You stupid little bitch. What a fucking idiotic, what an absolutely idiotic baboon-like thing to fucking do. Like, oh, dude, oh, yeah, you, you signed a release? What release did I sign? You stupid shit. Are you, did you pay me to appear on that fucking Zoom call? No, you didn't. Suck my dick. You don't own that fucking content. It's quite literally me in the fucking video. see you in court like you're gonna do shit what do you mean you think i you think i'm not gonna pursue this you think i'm not gonna fucking counter are you stupid this is such an objectively incorrect thing to do and this fucking dumbass is also again stupid enough to like do this not only is he stupid enough to do this he's done it to so many people and most importantly, perhaps most significantly, he's dumb enough to gloat that he's false copy striking people. You fucking idiots. Look at him. W, chat, by the way, this is um, Hassan's head moderator, chat. Put a W in the chat. We stole $8,000 from him. W, he needed that. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, W, yes. <laughs> yes. How fucking stupid can you be? How absolutely idiotic can you be that you're like false striking people and celebrating it? But here's the thing with Aiden, he's in the gutter, right? He's already shit. He's already dog shit. He, he already knows that people don't like him at this point. And he's made more money than fucking God at this point, okay? The reality is that the crypto gambling casino that runs stake paid him a fucking fat bag. So now, so now, no matter what happens, Hassan Abi has been found banned from YouTube and Twitch. God, his fucking fan base is so incredibly stupid. Yeah, he's already made a shitload off of crypto rug pulls about fucking, you know, uh, uh, getting his dumbass fan base to, uh, hooked on, on gambling and numerous other things. And yet he's still over here gloating fucking false copy strikes. It's so, it's so incredibly dumb to brag about it too on top of that. Imagine being so stupid that you literally self-snitch. Oh, my God. Oh, what a fucking idiot, dude. The people that hang with him every day are bad too. Do you want to link? No, I don't care. I don't care about like whatever fucking Nazi he's at on his stream again. Ethan had won on a very similar case and clapped up the claimant. You could easily send him to Allah depending on how merciful you want your lawyers to be. Aiden and his fan base are the brain power of 100 year decomposing corpse. 
Anyway, it's just... I mean, he's about to roll up with an attorney like this. I mean, no, there's plenty of lawyers that would take it. But he literally said stole. Like he said, first of all, the $8,000 is not even correct for the record. I don't think an internet anarchist understands that like, that's not how that works. It goes into, it goes into a separate pile when someone uh, copy strikes you and you can counter it and take all of those, uh, take all those dollars back. Okay. If the video is made eight grand overall, then uh, it doesn't matter. That means that you made that eight grand until they fucking copy striked it. They never go to court. They threaten until you give up or back off in a month after you counter twice. Yeah, 100%. It would be fucking so unimaginably stupid to go to court uh, over something like this when you have a, a false claim here. They chose to take all the revenue from my video, which they had done with everyone else up to this point that I had encountered. They're not copyright striking. They're just claiming. Claiming means keep your video up. Give us the money. Win win, right? Wrong. These people don't own the content that I posted. The video I posted and a lot of the other people in this story posted are fair use videos, which are completely allowed under United States copyright law. You are allowed to show a piece to critique it. You are allowed to show someone else's clip while you're doing a commentary video, especially yeah. if you're reacting to it. Do you guys want to know why? Do you guys want to know why that's like legally permissible, by the way? Because someone who happens to be my fucking podcast co-host made it legal precedent, okay? His name is Ethan fucking Klein, and his court case quite literally is taught in law books now. Like, it's copyright law. It's, it's, it's literally ridiculous to do some dumb shit like this. On top of that, there are certain rules that, like, every content creator knows not to fucking break. Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, and the like will usually not turn around and fucking uh, false strike someone because, like, I'm responding to their fucking videos. No matter how big of a shithead they might be, they understand that it's, like, an unspoken rule among content creators because that would be ridiculous. That would be insane to do. However, there are scumbags out there who don't give a fuck about that, okay? Who don't give a fuck about the unspoken rules that every content creator understands. There's a reason why so many people lose their fucking minds, like, so many random YouTubers will get incredibly fucking mad about this because it would ruin the entire space, okay? That's what Aiden Ross is doing. Now, Gavin McGinnis did this to me, and no one really gave a shit. Why? One, because it was behind a paywall, technically. And two, I didn't pursue it. I didn't really care enough about it. And he's a fucking Nazi, you know what I mean? Aiden Ross, on the other hand is maybe a little bit better, supposed to be a little bit better than an out-and-about fucking Nazi, which is precisely the reason why, especially as someone with, like, an online uh, presence outside of kick, okay, he should know better than to do some dumb shit like this, but he doesn't. Especially if you're editing it, there is so much nuance that goes into this, but these Cardigan Media and Aegis TM people seem to just be claiming literally anyone who mentioned I show speed or talked about him for even a moment. And when I posted this, I took it to Twitter. So let's see what happened over there. I said, there's a company called thumb media affiliate. That's been striking commentary YouTubers who talk about I show speed. I'm not sure if this company is actually affiliated with speed or if they're just falsely striking videos. I DM speed to see if he can confirm. And that's true. I DM speed. I DM cardigan media. I DM everyone I possibly could to try and get a hold of speed and see if this is legit. Nobody would answer me. I couldn't get a hold of anyone at all. And it seemed like I was just screwed, right? So I had a decision to make. I could either roll over and let the claim stay on my channel, taking all the revenue from the video I posted. I didn't know if the video would take off or not. I didn't know if it would get a lot of views. And to me, it wasn't about the money. It never was about the money. To me, it was about the principle of the whole thing. Like I made something, I put work into it. Whatever comes, I should get it. Not somebody else who had nothing to do with it. And the thing that's really screwed up about YouTube's copyright system is when you get claimed like this, they don't have to provide any information yeah. to whether or not they're even a legitimate or a real company. So this created all of this speculation about all these people saying, hey, I'm.
I see what Hassan said. He said, I'm El Sunshine the Cobbler Street with my own content. Is that T-Pain? me direct, bro. I'll make sure that's taken care of. It's my new editor, probably, bro. W editor? Oh, no, tweet. it's not T-Pain. <laughs> Yo, you guys are going crazy on this tweet. Aiden, coming Aiden this W. Is, uh... Yo, W. Racist? Man, shut the fuck up. It's like tiny as fuck. I can't see, okay? Give me a goddamn break. For a second, I thought it was T-Pain until I realized this is a security guard. Ew. I don't know Yo, how Y'all are going crazy on this shit. My, my editor said, Hassan is tripping. He literally posted your content. Look at the tweet. His video says your watermark. Let me see. I was kind enough to literally fucking leave, by the way, which was so which was so incredibly stupid of me and my editors to like leave his fucking socials. It's like courtesy. You know what I mean? He said your watermark? The fuck do you mean? Dog, I'm in the video. What the fuck are you saying? It's transformative. It's not a replacement or a container for the original video in its market, which means the audience for it is not the same audience. Bro, it's not even transformative. It's me. It's me, me. There's no transformative in that video. It's literally just me, okay? Here, this is the video, dude. This is the video what? that they copy striked, dude. Uh, yeah, Hustlers University is a product I stand by. There's a reason we have so much, so many fantastic reviews. We just had our one year anniversary today, actually. I did a stream to the 110,000 students. Had our one year how make the argument that this is Aiden Ross's video, please, to me. Like, uh, he's he's he's, spoke, so he's speaking a lot is. in it. You've never seen it. Yeah, look at look how transformative so, this is. You're just going based on what you've decided, and that's that's completely fine. You're not. Also, I saw you uh, talk about joining the Marine Corps as a uh, pussy shit, which is another rare W for you. But outside of that, it's usually just a sequence of L's. Wait, I was wondering. This about him, Andrew Tate fuck? doesn't have uh, Andrew like, Tate what? doesn't have. Uh, any like he has a lot of social media footprint but not necessarily a lot of accounts how is this happening i Our wondered how is other people so they can get it. like striking this is so scummy dude like imagine striking this is incredibly fucking scummy it's like my editors edited the fuck out of this video and it's also quite literally me versus andrew tate it's a fucking Zoom call. That is so psychotic. Isn't his argument similar to the photographer and the model argument of who owns this video? Who owns the photo? Yeah, there are, you know, sign, uh, there's, there's paperwork that distinguish that. There is no paperwork in that situation. Make more money. I already make too much money. I'm good. So, no. But no, that product i stand by there's a reason we have so much so many fantastic reviews we just had our one year anniversary today actually I did. did they search through ac's vod to see if any of his channels didn't post it too this is clearly targeted yeah i know this stream to the 110,000 students had our one year anniversary today 110,000 students in one year so we're doing also i love that even in this community even in this fucking community we still have people who are like wait a minute hold up let's give him let's give him the the fucking uh Let's make it seem like Aiden actually has, like, a reasonable argument here. Like, what do you mean? He openly says he targeted me. He says his editor fucking targeted me. And, and they think it's, like, totally fucking valid. What the fuck are you talking about? Why the fuck are you sitting here and being like, wait, hold up. Let, let's, let's think about this really quick. Uh, really quick. Uh, let's think about this clearly now. Maybe there is a validity to it. Yeah, I just realized that. Look at this shit. My fucking socials are here and you uploaded my video. <laughs> what the fuck? You stole my content my content dude insane my content you're not even doing anything you fucking donkey you're just sitting there going uh, uh, on god w w my editor's not only fucking edited this video you my editor's not only edited this video but it's a video between me and andrew tate that's you're just not doing anything you're reacting to it literally in the fucking zoom call it is mind-boggling dude 
There's no fucking release forms on this shit. It is such a fucking idiotic thing to just like claim that like you own. I think his argument is that you grabbed it off his VOD since it has his socials because we didn't screen record it on my end, okay? That's that's the only difference. This was after I was live. I was kind enough to go on his fucking... Uh, I was kind enough to also appear on his fucking broadcast. That's it. That's an insane fucking argument to make. It doesn't change anything. There is no validity to that stance. The only reason why he's able to do it is literally because he can target motherfuckers and copy strike them maliciously as you are watching a video of him and fucking i show speed doing the same shit using the same fucking company if i had signed a contract like we're not even talking about the morality we're talking about the legality here right if I had signed a contract from a legal point of view that like he has full ownership, I give away full ownership of this content of my own commentary to him, then he would have at least some kind of fucking IP argument to make. But because I don't fucking have that, it doesn't matter. XQC himself also fucking posted the entire thing. And yet for some reason, he's not copy striked. I wonder why. Perhaps because he doesn't want to go after fucking the juicers. He just wants to go after me so he can be like, yeah, on God, W, big W. I came across the, I went across him. I'm glad that this is, uh, you know, enough content for Aiden Ross for a week so that he's like not watching his sister get fucked on OnlyFans and molding over it again and again and again, or his, like, ex-girlfriend, which, by the way, there's no issue with, but it, apparently it's a big deal for Aiden Ross, so, you know. Incredible stuff, dude. Big W's. Boys, W's, boys. On God, we did it. His sister and his girlfriend, by the way. Multiple girlfriends. I'm getting claimed, I don't know if this company is even affiliated with iShow Speed. And this kind of came to a boiling point because people were really upset. A lot of people thought that their favorite YouTubers were being claimed by some random company that had nothing to do with anything. I posted video- Yeah, yeah. These guys fucking suck, dude. I mean, they're such pieces of shit. Okay. It's such it's it's fucking ridiculous. Um, not as ridiculous as me forgetting to run the top of the hour ad break and then running it in the middle of the hour and telling you that if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account where you get one free Prime subscription a month, or by getting gifted a sub if you're lucky. Here's the three minute ad break now. So, hey, Bozo, thank you for the five get the subs, allowing five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the fucking hour. Let's go, baby. Video showing how it looks to a YouTuber when you get claimed. If you're going to dispute it, you have to give whoever claimed you your full name and address. You literally have to give them your docs so that they can sue you if they so choose if you dispute the claim. So... They give you nothing, and in return, you give them your literal docs so they can serve you with a lawsuit if they decide that their claim is still valid. And guess what? Less than 24 hours later, I got this email. Hi, Jabroni. After reviewing your dispute, Thumb Media Affiliate has decided that their copyright claim is still valid. Great system. So... Based on absolutely nothing, the claimant can just decide that their claim is still valid. I wish I could decide that my counterclaim was valid. Why can't I decide that? I'm kind of freaking out at this point. I'm like, okay, I, I'm either going to get sued and win, and they're going to have to pay my legal fees, or I'm going to get sued and lose, and I'm going to have my channel like deleted. I, I don't, I'm scared. So I start emailing lawyers in my area who do copyright law, 
and trying to figure out how much money it would cost to defend myself from this. It ain't cheap. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, this is not a cheap lawsuit to try and defend yourself from. And it's also very difficult to really tell if something is fair use or not from a legal standpoint. Now, I can sit and watch commentary videos all day long and say, yeah, that's obviously fair use. But is a judge going to see it the same way? Is a jury going to see it the same way? Am I really willing to pay the money for my dinky video to stand up in court? All of that went out of my head because I was so mad. And just on principle, I was like, I'm going to fight this to the end. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to fight it. And so I did. Why the Twitter thread is relevant and important is not because of anything I said in it, but because after I made that thread, it got (coughs) indexed on Google because there weren't a lot of people talking about this yet. And I got people reaching out to me from all over the place from from then until literally now. YouTubers have been DMing me saying I got claimed by speed. What do I do on August 13th? I got this DM from a YouTuber middle of the conversation. They said, what's funny is the video got claimed. I trimmed out the clip and then they claimed the video again a few hours later, which is literally just me talking over gameplay. I'm just not going to make videos about speed anymore. It is mad annoying. And that's what's wild about these claims. Usually when you get claimed on YouTube, it's by an automated system. It's by content ID. The copyright owner gets a list of videos that are using the content that they claim to own. They can just go through a checkbox and say, claim, claim, claim. It's all on one screen. The claims we were getting last summer were manual claims, which means somebody was going to our videos and manually clicking the claim this video button, which is even more infuriating because there's also like when you go on the eligibility, okay, on the channel dashboard, it says dispute claim Andrew Tate and Aiden exposes son and XQC live on stream. So that's what he's saying. My video is called Andrew Tate cannot handle my questions, right? 1.5 million views. Remember that the following are not valid reasons to dispute a content ID claim. It says uh, underneath, it says, uh, I own a copy of the song. I'm not making money from the video or I gave credit to the copyright owner. I checked the little tiny check mark underneath that says my dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above. I would still like to dispute this copy content ID claim. So in it, you have four main options at that point. You have four options that you can engage with. You can say original content, the content claimed in my video is my original content and I own all the rights to it. Uh, I have permission or a license to use the content claimed in my video. Copyright exceptions such as fair use. I have significantly transformed the content claimed in my video. The video is protected by fair use, fair dealings, or similar exceptions of copyright. Public domain content claimed in my video is the public domain and no longer protected by copyright. What what can I say here? I'm in the fucking video, dog. This is me in the video. Like, here, this is the this is the disputed parts of the video. Let's play it. Okay. I'm following the steps. Everything, everything you told me did, I did, and it just it just fucking- well made. Fifty dollars might not come across like a big amount of money, but over the over uh, one hundred and ten thousand people, that's a lot of fuck. Just sign up, people, and the fans channel will finally give in. Happen time and time again. By the way, chat, okay. Like what? Do I say original content? The content I claim that video is my original content, and I own all the rights to it. <clears throat> I'm gonna say that. Confirm everything is yours. Even if you filmed or edited the video yourself, think about whether you included someone else's work. Did you record from a TV screen or include other video clips? If so, the video isn't entirely your original content. Okay. So why don't you give this warning to the person who is copy striking? You know what I mean? Give this warning to the copy striker. Do you? They do law is just ignored. Find out who claimed the content. Creators are represented by companies. Understand where you fit in. If your content is popular enough to have been reused in another video or TV show, then it's possible that the owner of that show has claimed your video in error. If you created the content, it's appropriate to dispute the claim. The content claimed in my video is my original creation. It does not include anyone else's work. I mean, that's not true, though. The problem is it's not true. We foolishly gave... Why didn't you click that link? You gave him credit in the first stage since you included his watermark because that's a trap. So including someone else's watermark doesn't change the reality that they can copy strike you. They give you those first three fucking uh, uh, things so that they can turn around and say, oh, well, that doesn't mean anything. You literally gave someone else the, 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 the license. It's basically, it's not a watermark. Why not fair use? 
because I'm not actually looking at someone else's video and responding to it and reacting to it. The problem is copyright law isn't fully definitive on this type of novel collaborative content. I know, which is why he's fucking up the bag for himself. That's the point. This will open up an opportunity if it goes to courts for people that he collaborates with without signing a fucking release form to sue him. So every Instagram model that has ever appeared on Aiden Ross's streams could turn around and sue him for every fucking dollar that he has. Do you understand? Because he's not sending release forms before having people appear on his fucking streams. So, hey, Aiden, have fun with that. I will literally personally pay the legal fees of other fucking Instagram models and people who now hate Aiden Ross who have appeared on his stream to sue him for every fucking dime he has if he keeps this dumb shit up, okay? I will go and work with lawyers to ensure that that happens. There's a reason why YouTubers don't touch this, okay? There's a reason why YouTubers don't touch this because it would open up a legal battle that would be bad for everyone, okay? This is why false striking is fucking stupid. That's the problem. Bro is butt hurt. I'm the one who's butt hurt. You fucking idiot. He's the one who's butt hurt. He's the one who's false striking. There was a time and place when like, there was a time and place when people would literally look to this and go, oh, that's scummy. But it turns out now we're at a point where it's like, oh no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if this person is being a scumbag. I like him on God. He's W. You're a fucking L. So it doesn't matter. This used to be looked down upon for this very specific reason, for this very same reason. But unfortunately, because there are so many fucking dumb idiots here uh, that are uh, in the fandoms of other dumb fucking uh, brain-broken dipshits. Hold on. Anyway, is W to have a fourth grade education? There are they are new wave kids who never experienced years of no content due to the H three lawsuit. They have to learn one way or another. I know it's like it's a it's the same cycle, dude. It's the same fucking idiotic cycle. I am Joshua Deckard. Thank you for the 50. Get the subs. Could this be an issue beyond Aiden Ross? I mean, he acted mean and all, but legally, maybe the agency tries to claim. No, no. He knows that his editor did it. He knows his editor did it himself.
I know it might not be your bag, but starting a fun for small careers to fight this shit would help. Bro, this is Aiden Ross. We're talking about save your energy for actual haters, King. Fuck them. No, this is so fucking frustrating, dude. I mean, it's like, it's ridiculous. He's like, he, he has so much fucking money, so he thinks he can bully people like myself and others that do not have enough finances to fight back. Fuck that shit, dude. Are you joking? Look at how many fucking smaller content creators he is like. Look at how many smaller content creators he's done this to. That he's like celebrating as a fucking major W. It's disgusting. I am Joshua Deckard, by the way, didn't just give 50 subs. He gifted 200 subs. Holy fuck. It's so fucked up. Like, it, it's so ridiculous, dude. It's monetization is now an escrow, too. It's for prince it's for the principle of the thing. It's not even for anything else. Like there's more. There's other ones too. Like there's people who are fucking there are, there's another one. The the Karen uh claimed her own fucking TikTok. Uh remember the the Towns Creek Karen chick? Very bottom of a large corporation and worked two jobs so I could afford community college all. before transferring. Oh, the winner takes it all actually claimed it. Never mind. Fucking Christ. TikTok is so... That one I can't really do too much about. The winner takes it all. The song... This video uses the song's melody content found during 206. This is the type of shit that I fucking hate dealing with. There's nothing you can do about that one. Anyway. But yeah, it's not about me. It's about fucking uh, smaller content creators who cannot uh, fight back against this kind of, uh, you know, ridiculous copy strike abuse. Because whatever they decided was their copyright wasn't even flagged by a bot. It was literally some person who I believe was just typing in I show speed into the search bar and claiming every single video that wasn't posted by one of speed's channels. So I fought back and I put my channel on the line. And on August 15th, I got yet another okay, email from YouTube. Hi, Jabroni. Good news. After reviewing your dispute, Thumb Media Affiliate has decided to release their copyright claim on your YouTube video. Oh my God, I was so relieved. And I felt like the weight of the world was like taken off of my ass because I was so worried about what was going to happen to my channel. The interesting thing was the same day, they released claims against a bunch of YouTubers, including Internet and Jay, who I had been talking to behind the scenes about this. And it made me wonder what was really going on at this Cardigan Media Aegis TM agency. I started digging a little bit to see the background of these companies. And what I found was pretty interesting. On July 25th, someone had DM Thumb Media on Instagram and asked if they own the copyright of iShow Speed. And they replied saying, yes, Thumb Media manages copyright on behalf of iShow Speed. And people in Speed's community wanted to know, are you actually claiming all these people's videos? Are you actually copyright claiming everyone who talks about you on YouTube? Because that would be wild. So Speed finally responded after it got upvoted in his subreddit. Oh, all right, Chad, then where's the... All right, I'll watch the video again then, Chad. What's the video, bro? Like, oh my gosh, dog. Bro, that is... What are y'all... A company called Thumbity is copyright striking all the... Chad, how do I... Like, Chad, how do I stop this from happening? Like, because it's not happening to me. Like, Chad, like, how do I, like, stop this from happening? Dude, every time this dude gets caught in fucking 4K, 8K, 10K, whatever, 12K, he always is like, oh, man, I just totally didn't know it was happening. I doubt that he didn't know it was happening. The fuck? Yeah, like, only when his it, own fucking community starts shitting on him over this does he does he turn around and, and do something about it. X noobs okay, alright, bro. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Ooh, no, it is just So that was the clip. He said, How do I stop this from happening? Because it's not happening to me. 
How do I stop this from happening? Because it's not happening to me. And he he acted really surprised. He acted really upset about it. And so I think that's what his fans would have expected. They were upset. They didn't want all this stuff being claimed. And after that clip we just watched went live, Dexerto posted this article that says, I show speed calls out company for false copywriting fans who post his YouTube clips. I, I don't think that's what happened there. I think he saw that and said, wow, that's crazy. How do I stop this from happening? It doesn't happen to me. Notice that he didn't deny, he didn't say, no, that's not me. Because if he were to say that, then everyone who's fighting back against them could point to that clip and say, look, he said it wasn't him. You guys are false copywriting. That's illegal. It's literally illegal to do in the United States. You can be fined $2,500 for every video that you false copyright. It is a criminal offense. And so they would be shut down. There's absolutely no way that YouTube would allow them to continue to claim people, right? Right? This got the attention of a lot of people on Twitter with Jake Lucky saying, I show speed is called at a company known as Thumb Media for false copywriting people who post his clips. The company has been claiming multiple YouTubers videos for months now with nobody seemingly knowing who they are. And this was the general sentiment was that these people are just copyright trolls. They're just thieves. They don't actually represent speed. One commenter said it's most likely not speed's fault. That company will take unclaimed media that they know is going to go viral and upload it for themselves for content ID claims. Same exact thing happened to me with another company. They count on creators creating viral videos that they get the revenue off of. You just have to fight them. They will fight back as long as they can, but they will never take you to court. Speed needs to sue. Fake copyright claims have been going on for years with YouTube and they continually show how little they care about their platform and creators. So just a few days later, Jake Lucky got the opportunity to ask Speed about all of this on stream. But then uh, on a lighter note, this whole thumb media situation. Did you hear that speed? Can you talk about that? Uh, what'd you say? Can you talk about that? Move on. He said he can't talk about it. Oh, okay. All right. No reason. No reason. All right. So did you hear him there? He didn't say they don't represent me. I don't know who that is. You know, they're trolls. He said, I can't talk about that. Move on. Keep that in mind because Speed's fans definitely didn't move on. For the next several months, actually up until today, I got constant DMs from YouTubers asking for help with their claims from Cardigan Media, Aegis TM on any video talking about iShow Speed. I want to read you guys a few of these now. I got one on August 26th that said, I'm amongst the list of plug channels copyrighted by Thumb Media Affiliate. It's screwed up. These are only some of the hundreds of videos they have copyrighted from me. Another one from August 26th, the same day. Hey man, similar thing happened to me with my short, wondering how the claim went. It seems it may be an offshore company owned by Speed, but I'm not entirely sure. November 25th, I got a DM that said, hello sir, big fan, wonder if you ever experienced with Thumb Media Affiliates copyright. It seems that all the creators on YouTube got false copyright claimed when posting iShow Speed content, including me. I got three false copyright claims under Thumb Media Affiliates name, and I wonder if you can help me with this situation. Here's another one from December 8th. It says, Thumb Media just claimed speed content of me on a four second clip of him screaming on my video. Here's a DM I got December 16th that said, yo, Jabroni TV, hit me up ASAP. I replied, what happened? Did you get copyright claimed by Thumb Media? Yeah, I saw you tweeted about it. Did you ever get that appeal to work? December 29th, I got a DM that said, yo, Jab, I know you don't know me, but please, I need your help. I also know you suffered a copyright claim on your iShow Speed video with Thumb Media affiliate. I also heard that you won the dispute. Please, how can I remove this false copyright claim on my video? January 17th, I got a DM that said, hey, bro, how are you? I have to ask you something. Thumb Media has sent me a copyright claim. Is it fake? I said, it's real. I think they actually represent speed, but I don't know for sure. If your video is truly fair use and you can fight it in the YouTube studio, if not, don't fight it. And they said, I used iShow Speed's Instagram pictures only, and it was a short YouTube video. I got 4 million views off that video. I said, it's up to you. I'm not a lawyer, unfortunately, but they backed down after I disputed them two times. January 23rd, I got a message that said, hello, there's this new entity, false copyright ID claiming I show speed content called Cardigan Media by Aegis TM. I saw your tweet encouraging creators to DM you about this. Are there any updates on how to handle this? I have a creative I show speed trolling video perfectly under fair use with 2 million views and climbing, which has been claimed in its 13 minute entirety. These DMs have- Bro, these are, this is, this is a great video showing the extent that like, Aegis Media or the Thumb Media affiliates go to copy strike people falsely. Okay. Um, Aiden is Aiden is doing that as well, uh, and and weaponizing it as well. 
Except he's, I guess, doing it exclusively against people he doesn't like because it doesn't seem like he's doing it to other people. Because, like, here. Bro, there's no f***ing shot. I... I destroyed Andrew Tate featuring Aiden Ross and Hassan. Like, it's the same exact Bro, fucking video, <laughs> but on XQC's channel. It's like copy striking this. You know what I mean? If he has ownership over this entire call, which he doesn't, he would have to fucking copy strike XUC as well, which he can't. But it's the exact same thing. That's, Look, that's completely fine. You're not going to reduce our subscriber number. Every single time I do one of these Twitches, we get three, four, five, six thousand. But of course, he doesn't have his fucking socials. He, he doesn't have Ada Ross's socials on there, so it doesn't even matter. Not only is the video transformative because we made edits to it, but it's literally me. It's me talking to Andrew Tate. What is this? YouTube's Heard biggest... I got a message that said, hello. Yeah, we're, we're still on that video. Hold on. We're going to finish it in a second. Here, let's... You never stopped rolling into me. And my tweet didn't even have that much reach. There are probably dozens, if not hundreds of YouTubers who have had their videos claimed. Now, some channels who are uploading this kind of thing are just re-uploading Speed's clips. But a lot of people are doing commentary type videos and everybody's getting claimed no matter what, which is completely illegal under United States law. It is illegal to abuse copyright this way. The thing that stinks about YouTube is YouTube has no way to report it. There's no message you can send them. There's no flag you can click that says, hey, YouTube, these people are abusing your copyright system. They are just mass copyright claiming anybody who even mentions I show speed. They'll probably claim this video. There has to be something for YouTube to do. And Speed's fans wanted him to speak out more directly and say, these people don't represent me. YouTube, I need you to do something about it. But instead, we got this clip just a couple of days ago. YouTube asks y'all to stop spamming about these emails uh, about the cardigan and the thumb media affiliate. That is me. Just wanted to let y'all know everybody know that. So would y'all guys please stop. Thank y'all. Love y'all. There it is. It's been him the entire time. So the whole time people were saying, this company is fake. They don't represent Speed. Speed would never do that. It's him. The entire time, this guy no who's a multi- No way. I thought he didn't fucking know. No way. Turns out he was doing it on purpose. Because they're such fucking scumbags, dude. Like, it's just so frustrating. Like, there are things that I excuse with respect to, like, age when people are like, oh, you know, they don't know any better. Oh, like, he's young. He'll get better at, like, uh, understanding certain concepts. But this is transparent greed. You know what I mean? Like, you're a multi-fucking millionaire, and you're milking small content creators. Like, this guy that got claimed, Jabrangus has, what, like, this is, I, I assume this might be his, like, second channel. Like... This guy is 177,000 subscribers, bro. Like, you're really going after motherfuckers with 177,000 subscribers? Like, you got 15 million subs. That shit is so whack, bro. That, it, it, it's so fucking gross. Like, how much more money do you fucking need, dog, that you're, like, literally trying to milk people like this? Oh, he's just a kid. He's just a kid. It's evil as fuck. It's so greedy. Millionaire has been claiming anybody who even mentions him on YouTube. And not only does he, he's not sorry. He doesn't care. He just wants you to shut up about it. Stop spamming in my chat about me claiming hundreds of people's videos. Why would you guys bring it up? Shut up and get back to the fucking content. I can't wrap my head around why he thinks it's a good idea to copyright claim anybody who even mentions him. Now, don't get me wrong. If I was a huge streamer and there were people just re-uploading my clips, I wouldn't feel guilty about claiming those videos. If all they're doing is taking my clips and re-uploading them and monetizing that, I wouldn't feel guilty about copyright claim. Yeah, and by the way, this makes it even funnier because as a fucking huge streamer, I don't even do that, okay? I don't even do that shit. My expectation is not for other streamers to do the same. Obviously, like, I get why. I don't even do that. 
So, like, to come after me in this regard is, is even more fucked. Because, like, I have told you guys time and time again, as you all already know in this community, that, like, I allow people to basically use my content, my IP, in whichever way they fucking see fit. And it's so incredibly fucked up. Wait, what? Super Bam Inc. also claimed your stream, but since I stole it too, I guess it's fair game. What the fuck is this? What is Super Bam Inc.? Are they just like copy striking my streams now? Like we got other content creators, uh, other companies deciding because like Hassan doesn't maintain ownership over his IP. We'll do it for him so we can make uh, some, some bucks on the side. Like what does that mean? That's just me. They're false claiming my fans re-uploading my fucking videos. What the hell is this? Content over a two-hour fucking VOD? What the hell? The entire fucking VOD? Yeah, I mean, this happened back in the day. Hassan confuses Joe Rogan. YouTube hit with manual copyright claim. <laughs> it appears some of Super Bama rights management company allegedly doing... Uh, they took the revenue off one of our Jubilee videos, and Jubilee loves when other YouTubers react to their content. Yeah, I remember that. I remember they did that shit for a Jubilee video. When Jubilee, like, literally wants us to fucking use their content. The streamer group that formed with I Show Speed, Aiden Ross, Kai Sinat, basically people that rose to fame after Angel Tate capitalized off dumbass teens. Are a bunch of greedy, toxic crooks. Obviously, Train jumped on that train, pun intended, and so did XC Kana when he saw the gambling money. I don't think even... No, I, I, I wouldn't put Kai Sinat in that fucking uh, group. Like, Kai makes his own content. I don't think he would... I think he's definitely a lot more careful with what... Uh, a lot more careful with, like, what is... is uh, how his image looks like on the fucking internet. You know what I mean? I don't think they do that shit. students everything's going fantastic for us yeah, because just so far that. yeah no you, you admit it you admit it this is a good way to market your you might also own the zoom recording as a participant if yeah there's of course one platform I do. we've all used of course i fucking own it i'm in the fucking video man that's crazy like it's literally i could have just very easily fucking filmed it on my own side it's just like this was done for chat this literally was done because it's just easier. That's it. That's it. That's the only difference. That's the only reason. And out of the pure courtesy, I fucking foolishly left his goddamn socials on there. I mean, those. would I do it? I don't know. Probably not, but I've never been in that situation, so I can't really say. But for him to just claim commentary videos about him, I think is absurd. And then for him to react like this, this is like 10 times worse than, can we copy strike PewDiePie? And this has pretty much gone under the radar. This hasn't been talked about enough. And I think it's really important that I show Speed get the message that it's not okay to do this. Speed, you have to tell these people to stop claiming videos that are fair use. You have to tell these people to stop breaking the law. What they are doing and what you are doing, because they represent you, you just admitted that you pay them to do this, is illegal, okay? And YouTube, I'm going to talk to YouTube directly. You all have to put a stop to this. When I got copyright claimed by these people, I went through the entire process. I had to give them my real name. I had to give them my home address. I had to give them every way to contact me so they could serve me a lawsuit if they decided that they owned my video still. They had to provide nothing, absolutely nothing. I didn't get a link to their website. I didn't get any kind of. You love the watermark, take the L. Thanks 25 month subscriber. Thank you for $5 for 25 months. I'll see you on the other side, okay? Digital signature saying. Down the fucking drain, dude. I will be using 
the 25 months of $5 that you gave me on the fucking legal funds to, to you know, take it up to court if I, if I have to. Hey, th- it's actually them. Nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Literally anyone could do this. And so you have to forgive YouTubers and just people in general for thinking this is fake. This isn't real. All the people saying, oh, Speed should sue. And it's Speed's own fault for kind of egging those people on and giving them ammo and saying, what? How do I stop this? That doesn't happen to me. How do I stop this? He wanted them to take the fall for him. But I think finally the noise got so loud, his chat really just giving him a hard time and saying, Speed, you have to stop this. Put a stop to this. And he finally had to admit it. He finally had to admit it. Now, I don't think there's going to be nearly as much backlash against I Show Speed as there was against Alinity when she said, can we copy strike PewDiePie? Because I don't really think Speed's fans care. We're in a different era of the internet than back then. And it's just a different time. Like, yeah. to be honest, I don't know how many people actually care that I Show Speed is stealing revenue from hundreds of videos when he's already a multimillionaire. Just from his ad revenue alone, he's making at least $250,000 a month. And he has sponsorships, and he has merch, and he has brand deals. It wouldn't surprise me if he has months where he makes a million dollars. Months, not years. Months. And he's claiming every person who mentions him on YouTube. And I think we got to put a stop to this. And if iShowSpeed won't listen, YouTube needs to fix its broken system. So please, guys. Yeah. Um, That 25-month subscriber won't be able to, but you can also support the Hodson and Apple Broadcast and avoid ads at the same time. Because at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account where you get one free Prime subscription a month. Or you can get gifted a sub. Your food is here, Marat. Larazington, thank you for the five tier one gifted subs, allowing five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. The three-minute ad break is here. Do you think the new YouTube CEO will care? No, because, like, they can't. They can't do anything about this shit. They're not going to take action on this. unless It's, it's basically, like, Elements of Style, thank you for the 50 gifted subs. Dead Trees, thank you for the five. Sakura Gore, thank you for the 10. Saranoid, thank you for the five gifted subs. Cosmic Day Fit, thank you for the five gifted subs. Just a three-minute ad break now. People always say YouTube needs to fix this broken system. They will never do it until there's, like, actual, literal... Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, litigation that that serves material harm to the company in some way. <laughs>